The Hippopotamus by T. S. Eliot. Read for LibriVox.org by Kalinda. The Hippopotamus. Similiter et omnes reverentor diaconus, ut mandatum Jesu Christi. Et episcopum ut Jesum Christum existentem filium patris, presbyterus autem ut concilium dei et conjunctionem apostolorum. Sine his ecclesia non vocator, de quibes suadio vos sic habeo. Sancto Ignatii ad Tralianos. And when this epistle is read among you, cause that it be read also in the church of the Laodiceans. The broad-backed hippopotamus rests on his belly in the mud. Although he seems so firm to us, he is merely flesh and blood. Flesh and blood is weak and frail, susceptible to nervous shock, while the true church can never fail, for it is based upon a rock. The hippo's feeble steps may err, encompassing material ends, while the true church need never stir to gather in its dividends. The potamus can never reach the mango on the mango tree, but fruits of pomegranate and peach refresh the church from over the sea. At mating time the hippo's voice betrays inflections hoarse and odd, but every week we hear rejoice the church at being one with God. The hippopotamus's day is passed in sleep, at night he hunts. God works in a mysterious way, the church can sleep and feed at once. I saw the potamus take wing, ascending from the damp savannas, and choiring angels round him sing the praise of God in loud hosannas. Blood of the Lamb shall wash him clean, and him shall heavenly arms enfold. Among the saints he shall be seen performing on a harp of gold. He shall be washed as white as snow by all the martyred virgins kissed, while the true church remains below, wrapped in the old miasmal mist. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.